what area of life that you're setting the goal for, how big it is, make sure that it's always increasing. Make sure that you build into your plan and your goals that you always want to be increasing. I really don't think that people do that. Or perhaps I should say a lot of people don't do that. They set these things like, I'm going to get the house, I'm going to get the marriage, I'm going to get this. That's it. I, I can't even see what happens after that. Just know that whatever you get, even if it's a big for you now, when you get it, you're going you're gonna to acclimatize to it. There is no fixed destination. There's no, there's no thing that you get to and be like, that's it. Now I'm done. Now I'm happy. Whatever it is, you'll get there, you'll acclimatize to it, and you'll be pushing for the next thing. So make sure that you build that into your expectation. You always want to be growing. I have a post that I put up on Facebook as I was sitting on the runway this morning. We were taxiing out. Uh, you want to go and read it. Swipe up, go and read it. It's a, the comments are getting a little bit heated. It's pretty funny. The people don't see themselves growing. The post was about the old home ownership debacle. A lot of you guys know my stance on that. Uh, go and read it, go and read the comments in particular, you'll, you'll learn something about the way that people think. When you, get, when you go through school, your knowledge is going up and it sort of stops at the end of school. I think many people think that that's it, that their knowledge, that's it, that's my knowledge. I was born with this level of intelligence and my grade said this based on the thing that I did, the test, and that's it, that's my knowledge, I'm this intelligent. They, they don't continue to grow and learn and read. And then because they've boxed themselves into this level of intelligence and they've got these grades, they go into the workforce and they've got this level of income and that's it. That's my income. That's the income that I deserve and that I'm worth and that I think that I'm going to always make. It might go up with inflation. Golly gosh. And because they think they have a fixed level of intelligence and a fixed set of grades and they're always going to play at that level and they go into the job and they have a fixed income, then they go and have a fixed set of goals. These are my goals. That's it. I'm going to get the goal and then I'm done. It's very, very limited, small thinking. And I guarantee that's going to hold you back. You're going to have a smaller and less inspired life if you hang on to that. If, if, if on the other hand, you decide to give yourself permission to grow every day and read and learn and keep growing, you, and you read five good books and you, you read five good books, by the way, and you'll discover that everything you've ever been taught is absolutely a crock of shit. And people who told you this shit, people who taught you in the school, they don't know anything. They don't know shit. If your parents are in the middle class, they don't know what's going on. But you go and subscribe to their systems and you look up to mum and dad and you look up to the teachers and the preachers and they go and grade you, they give you this test and then they give you a, a fucking number or, or a letter and then you, you buy into that crap and you think that that's it for you. <laughs> Read. I did not do good at school. I, in high school, I got an OP13. We have a grading system here, one through 25. One, you're an academic genius. 25, you're borderline retarded. I was 13. I was on the sort of more retarded side of things. And so moving into the final months of senior year, grade 12 here, I was called into this little office, this little counselor's office where an employee would sit all day under the aircon, under the fluorescent light, to try and warn me of the risks of not taking it seriously and not taking the final test, the QCS test, seriously. And one of my philosophies is always look through the shit, look through the words. People can talk a good game, but look at results. You want to look at people's results. How would you be taking advice from an employee who's clearly disempowered in their vocational career, giving you advice about your vocational career? So I was listening to the words and they said, well, you need to get serious. You need to take it first. So you need to study. You need to cram for this bloody test that's coming up. And they said all these things. And then if I did that, I'll be sweet. So I sort of, what I did is I did the opposite. I got drunk during QCS and I partied and I socialized and I had a bloody good time. I had the best last two weeks of high school than anyone. And I'm sure of it. The second last week we had, a, we finished a bottle of tequila before school. Look, this is pretty ridiculous. I'm not saying do this. I'm just saying that when you listen to people without results, you're better off doing the opposite of what they say. Don't listen to what people say if they haven't got the results you want. End of story. It doesn't matter who the hell they are. Look within. You have within you something really, really, really special, really magnificent, something unique, something original. You've got it within. When you get all the voices on the outside and you decide to say, fuck you and fuck you and fuck you, and you disobey, that's what my number plate on the, on the Lambo means. Disobey. Disobey the voices on the outside. When you fuck all of them off, you get clear with what, what's the voices on the inside and then you start to listen to that, you'll master your life. Anyway, that was going to be a little update that turned into a little mini lesson. Holy gosh. I do like these mini lessons. I hope you enjoyed today's little mini lesson. P.S. Someone once asked me, it was a really good question. Lewis, you say disobey the voices on the outside. What about if we're listening to your voice? If I tell you something or advise you to do something that goes against the voice on the inside, yes, disobey me. Do you. I'm not here in the business of, having, of making you follow me and, and, and looking up to me and thinking that I have all your answers. I don't. You've got your answers. I'm here to help you to find your answers. That's it.
different every day. Every day is a different sunset. Look at that. That looks tidy. Then what do we got over here? Oh, holy gosh.